When most people see a small buzzing insect flying nearby, the first thought is often the same. Is that a bee or a wasp? To many, the difference doesn't matter. Both can sting, both can be annoying, and both tend to show up when you least want them around. But bees and wasps are not the same creature at all. In fact, they differ in behavior, biology, diet, personality, and even in the roles they play in keeping our planet alive. Understanding the difference between a bee and a wasp doesn't just make you smarter at backyard trivia, it changes how you see these insects and how you react when one comes buzzing past your face. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with appearance, because this is usually the first clue. Bees are generally rounder, fuzzier, and softer looking. That fuzzy coat isn't just for show. It's actually a vital tool for survival. The tiny hairs covering a bee's body help collect pollen as it moves from flower to flower, turning bees into living pollination machines. Wasps, on the other hand, look sleek, shiny, and more aggressive in shape. Their bodies are smoother, their waists are narrow and sharply defined, and they often appear more armored than bees. If an insect looks like it's wearing a polished yellow and black suit with a sharp waistline, chances are it's a wasp. Bees look like they're wearing fuzzy sweaters instead. Behavior is where the differences become even more noticeable. Bees are generally calm and focused. Their main mission in life is to gather nectar and pollen to feed the colony. A bee visiting your garden isn't interested in you, it's interested in flowers. Wasps, however, are opportunistic and curious. They are predators and scavengers, which means they hunt other insects and aren't picky about food. That's why wasps are drawn to picnics, soda cans, meat, and sugary drinks. While bees quietly mind their business, wasps actively investigate anything that smells like food, which often puts them in direct conflict with humans. Now let's talk about stinging, because this is where fear usually comes in. Bees can sting, but most species will only do so as a last resort. Honeybees, in particular, can only sting once. Their stinger is barbed, meaning it gets stuck in the skin and tears away from the bee's body, killing it shortly afterward. From an evolutionary standpoint, a bee sting is a self-sacrificial defense meant to protect the hive. Wasps, on the other hand, have smooth stingers. This allows them to sting multiple times without harming themselves. They can sting, fly away, and sting again, which is why wasps are often perceived as more aggressive and more dangerous. Social structure also sets bees and wasps apart. Many bees live in highly organized colonies, with a queen, workers, and drones, all working together with a single goal, survival of the hive. Every bee has a role and the colony functions almost like a single organism. Wasps can also be social, but their colonies are often seasonal and temporary. Many wasp nests die off in winter, with only fertilized queens surviving to start new colonies the following year. There are also many solitary wasp species that live and hunt alone, something far less common among bees. Diet is another major difference that explains their behavior. Bees are vegetarians. They feed on nectar and pollen, which they convert into honey and bee bread to sustain the colony. This plant-based diet is what makes bees essential pollinators. Wasps, however, are omnivores and predators. They feed on insects like caterpillars and flies, helping control pest populations. But they also eat fruit, meat, and human food scraps. This mixed diet is why wasps are often seen as pests, even though they play an important ecological role.
Speaking of ecological roles, bees are among the most important animals on Earth. A huge portion of the world's food supply depends on bee pollination. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, and even crops used to feed livestock rely on bees transferring pollen from one plant to another. Without bees, ecosystems would collapse and food systems would struggle to survive. Wasps don't pollinate nearly as much as bees, but they serve as natural pest control. By preying on insects that damage crops, wasps help maintain balance in ecosystems in a different but still valuable way. When it comes to human interaction, our reactions to bees and wasps couldn't be more different. Bees are often welcomed, protected, and even kept by humans for honey and pollination. Wasps are more likely to be swatted at or exterminated. This difference isn't entirely fair. While wasps can be aggressive when threatened, they usually only attack when they feel their nest is in danger. Understanding their behavior can reduce unnecessary conflict and help people coexist more safely with both insects. So bee versus wasp isn't really a battle, it's a comparison of two very different survival strategies. Bees are builders, farmers, and pollinators, quietly supporting life on Earth. Wasps are hunters and scavengers, enforcing balance by keeping other insect populations in check. Both are important, both can sting, and both deserve respect rather than fear. The next time something buzzes near you, take a second look. That fuzzy little bee might be helping grow your next meal, and that sharp-looking wasp might be controlling pests behind the scenes. Understanding the difference changes everything. Ask yourself whether it's a fuzzy, flower-loving bee quietly doing its job, or a sleek, curious wasp patrolling for food. Neither insect is looking for trouble. They're just following instincts shaped by millions of years of evolution. When we learn the difference, we don't just protect ourselves better. We also learn how to respect the delicate balance of nature buzzing all around us. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.